Hello, and welcome to another lesson on learning wagtail. In this video, we are going to be working with our footer. So down here, we have a logo, we have some text in here, and we have these links. So we're actually just gonna be working with these icons to begin with. And in the next lesson, we'll talk about uh, some custom branding settings. So right now, we're just working with these links. So I'm just gonna open up my project from that last video and open up base.html. Now in the previous video, we added navigation and we put it into its own included file. We're gonna do the same thing here with the footer. So we're gonna say block, and this one's gonna be called a footer. Let's go ahead and add an include. And this is going to be, the, it's gonna live in the folder called includes. And it's gonna be in footer.html. Now this is gonna live right in here. So we've got project name, templates, includes, and we're gonna create a new file in here called footer.html. Now I'm gonna have to grab all of this footer code here and do, 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 just cut it out. And did I grab too much? I possibly did. So this is where templating, uh, turning a template into wagtail or wagtailifying is how it can get a little bit interesting. It sometimes gets a little bit confusing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just paste that in here and. Just quickly double check my divs and hope that everything is a-okay. So we got that. Where does this guy go? We did in fact cut one too many. Okay, little indenting stuff in here. So we've got static. We learned from that last lesson. We need to load static if we're gonna use static in this file. Uh, what I'm gonna do is some quick little cleanup here. And we have these icons, right? So we've got some icon in here, BXL, GitHub, CodePen, and LinkedIn. We could probably add some other ones if we wanted to. And we have a link. So we need to, first of all, see if our site even has a GitHub URL. Maybe our site doesn't. You know, maybe we don't have a CodePen portfolio. I don't really know why you would need one, but if you wanted to show off some cool front-end stuff, you could do that too. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm gonna type Python manage.py start app, and I'm gonna call this site settings. This is gonna create a new app for us. We go into base.py, this is our base settings, and we are going to add site settings in here. So essentially what I did, if you're brand new, is I started a new app called site settings that created a new folder for me. I'll close all these up new one in, in here called site settings and created all these files for me. Now I'm gonna go into my models and this is where our data is technically stored, is in models. A model will always map to your uh, relational database. So think of it like a spreadsheet. Every model is a new sheet in, in a plethora of spreadsheets. So what I want to do first is I'm going to say class, let's call it footer links, and this is going to be a base generic setting. And it's a little bit different from older Wagtail. And I'm gonna add a GitHub URL, and yep, that's gonna be URL field. Can it be null? Yep, can it be blank? Yep, that means it's not required, it is absolutely optional. We're also gonna say LinkedIn, same, same. And uh, we want panels in here, All right? So panels is equal to a field panel for GitHub and LinkedIn. Now we need to do some imports here. So let's go from wagtail.contrib.settings.models. Base setting, I, uh, it's not called base setting anymore. It's base generic setting. I hope that import is still right. I'm pretty sure it is, but sometimes my memory is a bit faulty. From wagtail.admin.panels, I know that one's old import field panel. So what we're gonna do here is that, and then, yeah, we need to register this as a setting. So essentially this is gonna store it in a database, a uh, database table for us, which is great, but we need it to be accessed by Wagtail as an actual setting. So we're gonna save that, we're gonna go over to our terminal, and we're gonna say, Python, manage the pie, make migrations, my favorite song of all time, and apply migrations. And that's it. So let's go into our Wagtail website, into our admin. We're gonna refresh and uh oh, uh, uh, Wagtail settings is not a registered namespace. So what we need to do is go back into our base.py um, and you notice how it says wagtail.contrib.settings, right? 
this is extra. So it comes with Wagtail, but it's not turned on by default. We wanna make sure that that's turned on by default. I'll be honest, I actually totally forgot about this. Uh, so we just open up our base.py and all we have to type in into our installed apps list is wagtail.contrib. So close, Copilot. Model admin, so close. Dot settings. There we go. That's all we have to write. Now let's go ahead and try this again. There we go. There's going to be one more thing that we're going to have to do, but I just want to show you how this works right now. So if I go into settings, we got... Uh, footer linkers, I hilariously didn't even realize I called it that linkers. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> footer links, that's hilarious. Uh, now we're changing the name of this, so that means we need to make another migration file. What do we sing? Make migrations. Yeah, we did rename it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we apply migrations. Now there is a way to you know, make this a little bit nicer so you don't have two migration files, but we're not going to worry about that right now because the site is absolutely tiny. Let's refresh this page. And, oh, yep, yeah, because that URL is going to be broken. We're going to go into the admin. We're going to go into our settings, go into footer link. There we go, GitHub. Cool, so let's go uh, HTTPS, github.com slash Caleb Tallinn. And I don't know what my LinkedIn is, so I'm going to guess that it's HTTPS linkedin.com slash ah, Caleb Tallinn. I so rarely use that. And we're going to save. Now, in order to get this onto our template, how do, like, how do we actually get it in here, right? You might be thinking, well, we need a template tag or we need a, a context processor. Now, this is already built into Wagtail, which is fantastic. So if we open up our base.py and we scroll on down, scroll on down, we've got templates, context processors, and in here, we just want to add our Wagtail one. Wagtail.contrib.settings.contextProcessors settings. That's all it is. So that's going to allow us to access that data inside of every template. Now we're going to go into our footer.html, and we are going to write if, and this is going to start looking a little bit funny, uh, but bear with me, if settings, dot site settings, so this is our mod, or not our model, this is our app name, and that matches right there. So if settings dot site settings dot footer link, footer links, right, case sensitive dot GitHub, if that is set in there, okay, I'm just gonna grab that so I don't have to type that out again and if. Now I know this is GitHub because the URL is here and also says the icon is here. And we're just going to change that URL to mustache and paste that same thing in there. And away we go. Let's go ahead and see if that actually worked. We can also get rid of CodePen because we're not currently supporting that, but if you wanted to, you totally could. Let's refresh our page. CodePen, wow, I had a brain fart there, is gone. Um, and if we look at the bottom right there, and if we click it, in fact, it goes exactly to where I want it to go. So that's working. LinkedIn still is not working. So what we're gonna do is the same thing with LinkedIn. If settings.site settings.footer links.linkedin. Do, 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 put an end if in there. Indent that to make it look a little nicer. Copy. See how fast this is going now that we've done it once. Paste and away we go. Just like that. Now, I'll, I'll show you what that's like in just one sec. Let's open this up. Let's see where this goes. Ah, I'm not found. Oh, that's too bad. All right. So remember, this is Wagtail Settings. This is our app name. This is our model name. And this is our field name. So it goes like this. Settings. App name. Model name. Field name. Yeah, more like field name. That's how it works. Now, if you're wondering about maybe a multi-site instance, so you have more than one site running on the same code base, which is exactly what learnwagtail.com uses, you might be looking at this and going, well, how does this apply to multiple sites? And if you're interested in that, there is a course for it. And that course is the ultimate Wagtail developers course. There's like, I don't know, 49-ish lessons in there. It's like 14 hours long. And one of the things that you will learn are Settings, 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 routable pages, integrating and utilizing settings in Wagtail CMS, including 
multi-site setups using Wagtail. So if you're interested in something like that, this is gonna be the course for you. But if you're not interested in that, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, please ignore it, let's carry on. In our next lesson, we are going to then change, we can close this, we're gonna change John Doe to our own name, and we're gonna change that logo as well.